Right now at 5.30, in an emergency, seconds count. And nobody knows that better than Tyreek Spann after a frightening night back in December. Spann was working as a security guard at UM Jackson's medical campus when someone flagged him down for help. And it turns out a man had been shot six times, and that's when Spann's training kicked in. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer joins us with why he's being called a hero. His actions. Security guard Tyreek Spann is a hero, but he wouldn't let you say that. I'm going to be at the right place at the right time. And that he was. On December 29th, about two months ago, during his normal shift at UM Jackson Medical Campus in Miami Dade. We get flagged down all the time. So I'm like, hey, you know, somebody else is looking for directions. We actually have a gunshot wound, uh, I mean, a gunshot victim in the back of the car that falls out of the back of the car. That victim had been shot six times. Span rushed to help. It just kicked in for me to help a person that was in need of help. Well, you can stop the bleeding. He called for backup, who rushed the man to write our trauma center. Span knew what to do and had the life saving equipment thanks to training from a program called Stop the Bleed. What do I, what do, I do as a medic or even law enforcement if there's none, if there's no rescue there? The course trains you on how to save a life and what to do if you see life-threatening bleeding. Often people will bleed out if we can't apply these um, types of life-saving measures, and so increasingly law enforcement is taught to do that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great job. On Thursday at the Gordon Center for Simulation and Innovation in Medical Education, Span was recognized for his quick thinking. The trauma surgeon said the application of the tourniquets is what saved his life. Quick thinking and important training that saved a life. That victim, we're told, is out of the hospital and will be okay. As for that security guard, Officer Span, he's now going into law enforcement and he's going to work for the Broward Sheriff's Office. At Jackson Health, I'm Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4 News. And we will thank him.